Hi there, my name is Lawrence and in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how to run a traceit command in Windows. The traceit command, short for traceroute, in command prompt is a network diagnostic tool used to trace the path that data packets take from your computer to a destination device or server on the internet. It provides valuable insights into the structure and behavior of internet routing helping users and administrators maintain reliable and efficient network communication. To get started, go into the Windows Start bar and type in Command Prompt and open up the Command Prompt application. Once Command Prompt opens up, type in Tracer followed by the website address or IP address, then hit the Enter key on your keyboard. For today's example, I'm going to type in www.youtube.com. My computer will now begin sending out a series of data packets towards the destination, which in our case is the YouTube website. Each data packet travels through multiple hops or network routers and switches on its way to the destination. At each hop, the traceit command records the IP address and round trip time in milliseconds of the packet. As the data packets make their way towards the destination, the traceit command displays information about each hop, including the IP address of the router or device at that hop, and the time it took for the packet to reach that hop and return to your computer. By analyzing the traceit output, you can see the route that data packets take across the internet to reach the destination. This helps you identify the number of hops involved, the network latency at each hop, and potential bottlenecks or network issues along the way. The traceit command is commonly used for troubleshooting network connectivity problems, diagnosing routing issues, and identifying network congestion or packet loss. It helps network administrators and users pinpoint the source of network problems and determine the best path for data transmission. As you can see, the traceit command is finished for YouTube.com and we can see a detailed breakdown of the route it took. And it's as easy as that, performing a trace route in Windows is a fairly simple task to perform. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more videos like this, then please subscribe. 